And today, how does that feel? Ah, uh, feels good. Yeah, uh, today was um, one of the first, you know, like just great weather, fast races. Um, and it, it hurt going, you know, running like 206.40 pace for whatever, 15 miles. It was like, this is, this is hard. You don't get any breaks with any downhills. It's just straight grind the whole time. And it was, it was hard. <laughs> You, I guess like you were running with the Japanese guy, you decided to back off, I guess, from that pace a little bit later on in the race and then Zach went ahead. What was that decision? Uh, yeah, so the, the pacer went through 30K, 30K and yeah. right before that, Zach can maybe got me a little bit, maybe 17-ish, 18, I don't know, somewhere around there. And then I was behind Zach, I don't know, maybe 10 seconds. And then I was pretty tired, so I was just trying to like maintain and, you know, make maintain composure until two miles ago because in practice I'm like I always try to close the last two miles fast um, and then one of the guys came by around mile 22 and, and I saw him coming so I was like okay I know we, we're gonna have some into the wind sections the last four miles so um, I kind of like let him get to me and then just tucked in and I was like all right I'll just zone out on him and just think about getting the last two miles and so that was great for me because he, he kept me in it and like kept the gap to Zach close and kept us running the honest pace um, and then when I felt good, I'd kind of like take the lead and we kind of traded off a little bit, like not intentionally, but it just kind of happened. Um, yeah. And then the last mile was just, was just racing him and which is, it's good to be in a race that last, you know, last little part. Yeah. So that's the closing stages of the race. The opening stage of the race, a little weird with Chep and Gedich and the, in her pace group, like being around you. Uh, I mean a little bit cause I knew <laughs> what pace we were running and I was like, okay, they're <laughs> running fast, but it was also kind of nice cause it made a really big group that first 10k so you got a lot of drafting and i think the wind was coming from the north a little bit and we we're running into the wind so it was great to have more people to basically walk in the wind the whole width of the road so i mean in a way it was kind of nice yeah. what how were, how, were, how were the conditions when i walked outside it didn't seem windy to me right at the start but what, oh it was like? yeah i mean it was a pretty much perfect i mean a woman ran under 210, so they had to be pretty good. Um, no, the conditions were about as perfect as you could get. I mean, some people would say, oh, slightly warm, but coming off summer, I think it was about as perfect as it could be for, for everybody. What's your drafting strategy in like a race like this? Um, have people run in front of you yeah. and you <laughs> run behind them. I don't were know. there enough people? For yeah, I mean, you only need one. Yeah. I mean, it's helpful to have two or three, I guess is ideal, but... Um, <laughs> So what were yeah. your, you know, your splits coming home? Uh, not, I mean, after 16 or 17, they, they slowed down. Like I was running around, I don't know, your, your splits don't really get accurate uh, with the, you know, all the buildings here. So I'm not sure exactly. I mean, those splits on the, on the trackers, but my last mile was pretty good. Um, but from 18 to 25, I quite averaged maybe five minute pace. So, Did you beat the guy you were racing? Yeah, I won my group. That's what, that was my consolation prize. I mean, I wasn't top five, so you get nothing for the consolation prize. But uh, but yeah, our group that was at with the 63-30 pacer, I beat all those guys. So where do you take things from here? I guess like you got New York coming yeah. up. Like, what does a performance like this do for that? Uh, nothing. Used to I mean, back yeah, to just, back. <laughs> just like recover um, and just get ready I try to get some sleep normally the night of a marathon like after the marathon you don't really sleep a whole lot and then you get on a plane and you're just tired but so I just have to put extra intentionality into just like all right I actually have to go to sleep tonight and you know just shake out tomorrow and like just kind of get back into it and like treat today how I would a normal long run like I rest a lot after a long run and get good sleep so I have to do that when normally after a marathon you're just you're up all night, you wake up early, catch a flight, you just, your body just can't recover, but um, I can't do that. Yeah, so when's the next workout? Uh, I don't know, Tuesday or Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate it, yeah.